Good morning. We are live. This is the earliest we've ever gone live, but I have a special recipe of the day episode for you today, and we are going to be making this amazing gingerbread pudding cake. Um, I tested this a couple weeks ago for our Berkshire Hathaway office potluck today, so I thought as long as I was I'm going to make it again. I would bring you guys along for the ride here. So let me bring up my comments so I can see you here on uh, on my device. So I'm going to get started. I've already done a few things ahead of uh, ahead before you guys got here so that you didn't have to listen to the mixer beating, beating, be, uh, beating. So in here, I've, let me get, make sure you can see it. I have in here, it's only one quarter cup of sugar and one quarter cup of butter, which is not very much in my six quart mixer, but it is beaten up. We have gotten that all whipped together and looks nice and light and fluffy. So I'm going to add to that. Let me move over my comments here. Um, we are going to add in the egg white. So we've got one egg white room temperature and I'm going to add in the vanilla, which I have here. How is everyone this morning? Going to be a great, it is one week to Thanksgiving today, one week countdown. And here we're going to put one teaspoon. Of course, I always put a heaping teaspoon because to me, you can never have enough vanilla, can you? So here we go. Let's whip that. Hey, Head. Good morning. How are you? We are making something yummy today, and it's going in the crock pot, Head. this all whipped up. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Do you have any other comments on Instagram? My Instagrammers. Let's see. Okay, this looks yummy. So just scrape the bowl down a little bit here because it is such a big bowl for such a little amount of stuff here. But this is going to go quick. So I've got that all whoops, mixed up in there. Okay. That is good. So while move that out of the way here. We are going to fix our dry ingredients. So I'm making this gluten-free. So I'm using Pamela's, which I like to use a lot of times. This is my favorite gluten-free baking mix. So I have a cup and a half of Pamela's here in the measuring cup here. And I'm going to add our spices because yum, yum, yum. It is going to be a quarter teaspoon of salt, which I didn't get out. Let me get the salt out. Hold on. Hold that thought. And spices. Got the spices out, but not the basic spice, right? So put a quarter teaspoon of this, just using regular salt here. And then I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ginger, yum, holiday spices, out and ready to go. This is so yummy, I'm telling you, it is delicious. And when you, and you can put it in the crock pot, so if you are, um, have oven challenges on Thanksgiving, you can make your dessert in the crock pot while everything else is cooking. Half a teaspoon of ginger, and then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of allspice and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way, but it is very holiday, very y uh, yummy. Quarter teaspoon of allspice. We've got our spices in there, and I'm gonna mix that up a little bit of oh, baking soda. So three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm going to eyeball that. Okay, don't want to forget that. Okay, I'm going to mix that up here. And then we're going to alternate and put this in to our egg, white, and butter and sugar here. So, yummy. So to that, we're going to make sure I do this in, in order here before I get it in our bowl. Okay, now we're going to mix this in a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour and then we're gonna put a little bit of our molasses. So mix in a little bit of flour, start that. 
And then in here, I have a half a cup of molasses that I mixed with the water, um, so it's already mixed up and ready to go. So we're gonna alternate additions here. So I'll put a little bit of liquid, let that beat in, and I'm gonna put a little bit of flour. Oh, you guys, this is so good and so easy. And easy to make it gluten-free, which is always a nice thing to make something good. I know that people, when they come over and you have something gluten-free, they really appreciate it. And something that you can't even tell is, it's delicious. So put a little more of our dry ingredients. Wet ingredients. How many, who loves gingerbread like I do? And see the comments are coming up on my, on that one. Can't quite read you. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see your comments. Um, trying to see see them. Anyway, I'm going to keep going here. Liquid, the dry ingredients. Probably should turn that off, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the rest of our molasses and water and get that all mixed up. Okay. I have my crock pot liner here and I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. There we go. Easy peasy, huh? And let that finish up. Make sure I got everything in, in here. Okay, now we're going to take our, we're going to fold in the pecans because I'm saving time here, I'm just gonna dump them in. So half a cup of pecans, it's a little bit more than that, just because I had a little bit more left in the bag. So put a few more than a half a cup of pecans. And that should be ready for me to scrape the bowl. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. We've got our gingerbread going on here, huh? See that? Yummy! Oh my gosh, so good. So, dump this into our greased um, crock pot and then we're going to add a little bit more butter on top of that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yum. Yummy. Oh my, check that out. So good. And just right into the crock pot. I mean, seriously, how easy could this be? And it comes out, it is so delicious. Now I Whip some fresh whipped cream for this. So serve it with fresh whipped cream. You could serve it with ice cream if you wanted. It is so yummy. Okay, so that is in there. And then we are gonna take our melted butter that I melted while I was waiting for you guys. And I am going to mix, there's two thirds a cup of warm water in this one. I'm gonna mix it with the one stick of butter. The recipe called for um, two thirds of a cup of butter, but I mean, a half a cup is a stick, it's plenty. I mean, come on now, <laughs> really. So I'm gonna sprinkle this with the brown sugar. So in here is six tablespoons of brown sugar and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top. Oh, does that smell good? You smell it over there? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You don't smell it? Too far away. Even I can smell it. I hear the plumber. <laughs> the plumber's here up in our bathroom. Do you hear him grinding away? I'll show you some pictures of what he's doing up there too. So we've got six tablespoons of brown sugar just sprinkled all over the top. I'm gonna to take our butter and hot water and pour it over the top and do not stir it. So we're just gonna sprinkle this over the top and that's it. Put the lid on. We're gonna cook it for two hours, maybe two, two and a half, depending on your crock pot, on high. Um, and it comes out absolutely amazingly delicious. So that is it. I'm gonna put this, you can see it. 
but I'm gonna put this in the crock pot and let it go. And it is a yummy, easy, delicious uh, Thanksgiving or just holiday or any time um, pudding cake, gluten-free. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's always a pleasure. And share your favorite Thanksgiving recipes. Everyone always is looking for something new to make. If you have something that you love, that your family loves, um, we'd love to share it. I'd love to make it. So um, share in the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.